Hero, hero, hero. So, here's the deal. Halloween is just a couple weeks out. This year, our two and a half year old wanted to pick our costumes. So, we let him pick the costume. He wants to be Aladdin. He just saw the like Disney remake, the new live action one, which I really enjoyed actually. And so we're gonna go with an Aladdin theme for our family costume. Growing up, my mom always did 100% homemade costumes for us, which was so impressive, but I am just not that great. Also, I hate patterns, so I don't do that. So I'm doing my own version of homemade Halloween costumes, which involves thrift shopping and refashioning. So that's what we're gonna do, and I actually think it's really fun. First off is the star of the show, my little boy, Grayson. He's gonna be Aladdin, obviously. So if you haven't seen the live action version, I'll insert some pictures. He's got like those harem pants, drop crotch, bunched ankle. So the first thing I found are these pants. They're like a tan, but they've got like a pattern to them. They're kind of textured. I also liked these because they're slightly big on my son. I will take in the waist a little bit, but we still, we get kind of a dropped crotch, very slight dropped crotch effect. And then they are also a little bit too long. So I'm planning on um, hemming them a little bit, adding elastic um, so that they kind of bunch up and set a little bit higher. These were $2. Also, if you'll notice in his pictures, he has like a green belt. I picked up this like 20 cent sheet of felt, green felt, that I'll just use. Okay, here we are in the future. Now we are working on these pants. So like I said, I just wanted to bunch up the bottom and make it fit tighter around my son's ankles to give that more, um, I don't know, harem pant feel. So I took the pants off um, and cuffed the bottom and created this casing for the elastic to go in. Um, pinned that in place and then I took it over to my sewing machine and sewed around almost the entire thing, leaving a gap for me to insert that elastic into the bottom of the pants. To do that, I just attached a safety pin to one end of the elastic and fed that through the casing so that my elastic met up um, at where I left it open. Um, once I sewed the elastic together, then I just top stitched that casing closed. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, next for the belt, I just cut a strip of green felt um, to the size of the waistband of the front of the pants. And then I used a fancy stitch on my sewing machine. I have no idea what it's called or anything um, to cover that and attach it to the pants with a little more detail. He's wearing like a cream beige shirt, again with a stripe on it. So I found this like dress shirt. It's got a stripe in it. This was $4. I'm going to remove the collar. I think I'm going to sew the front together so there's no buttons and have like that collar edge right here. All right, like I said, I'm starting off removing that collar. This will just totally change the look of the shirt and make it match Aladdin's much better. Then I turned it inside out and matched up the placket and I pinned that together. I'm going to sew down um, just to the side of those buttonholes, starting about halfway down the front of the shirt and going to the bottom. This will create an open um, v-neck at the top, but I also went ahead and folded down the placket uh, for that top half and sewed it in place so that it, the flaps weren't like waving around, if that makes sense. You can see in this next clip what it looks like. Oh my goodness. <laughs> The next thing he has is a vest. This is the shirt I found. This is a little more orange red than true red, like Aladdin's, but I feel like it's good. It's got this like trim detail on the front, which really reminded me of Aladdin's vest. My plans for this, remove the collar. I'm gonna remove the, the placket, so I'm probably just gonna fold that over and sew, sew it, um, and then I'll probably shorten it. When in doubt, refer back to the pictures a thousand times. <laughs> I kept looking back at these pictures and saw that the um, edges of everything seemed to have raw cuts. So I went ahead and cut off the sleeves and just planned to do some st stitching um, on my machine near the edges, but not actually finishing the edges. 
Um, after that, I removed the buttons and I just played around with the collar for a bit, trying to see how I could make it look more similar to his. Next, I folded down the placket. I decided to fold it forward. Um, I just liked the look of that better. And I did a small zigzag stitch down, again, just to add some more detail to the top. Um, I also went ahead and removed the pocket so that I could um, play with the front without that being in the way. Next, I took some Taylor's chalk and just started marking out a bunch of lines for where I was going to go in with my machine and add some stitching, stitching and some um, just detail to make it more interesting. So this is just me playing around with different stitches on my machine, trying to decide which ones to use. And there are a lot of cool ones. Once I um, played around with those a bit, I just went in and started going crazy with the stitching over all of those um, lines that I had drawn before. And to get all that Taylor's chalk off, you can either throw your piece of clothing into the washing machine or just use a damp cloth to wipe it right off. Because I need to mark how short I want to cut it. Because it's this definitely way too Um, Did you see that face? He kills me. We have to watch that again. Because I need to mark how short I want to cut it. Because it's this definitely one. way too long. This is Aladdin. Is it like Aladdin? Yeah. <laughs> He's so cute. I had to keep that in there. Obviously, I'm just cutting the length, shortening it just a bit. So, so far we're up to two, three, seven dollars. Oh, seven dollars and twenty cents for my little boy's costume. The other things I need to figure out still are shoes. I got a crossbody brown bag and then I need to figure out the hat. Next up for my costume, I am planning on being Genie instead of the obvious Jasmine. So here's a picture of actual Genie from the movie. Okay, this is very basic. I got this blue top, just blue, long sleeve. This was $4 and I'm going to pair that with these beautiful blue oversized sweatpant leggings. They're so ugly guys, but they're, they're gonna work perfectly for my costume. And I'm also planning on adding elastic to the bottom of these pants and shortening them a bit. And these were $4. And then I need to make a red belt, which I also got felt for. All right, my costume definitely took the least amount of work. I've already shown you um, hemming Grayson's pants and adding elastic. That's exactly what I'm doing here. So, no need to tell you about that, really. For the belt, you didn't see this before, but I just grabbed a $1 blouse from the thrift store, cut it into strips, sewed the strips together to make a belt. Super simple, didn't finish any edges or anything. Along with this, I'm planning on doing my hair in a ridiculously high ponytail with a gold scrunchie, big gold chunky necklaces, gold bracelets, blue or gold eyeshadow, and then that's my costume. So my baby is three months old. He's the stinking cutest thing in the world. For his costume, what I'm gonna do as a magic carpet. So I'll put a picture in of the magic carpet. So it's a little bit more purpley than what I found, but I think this is close enough and I really liked it. So what I got is a woman's skirt. It's in this like silky fabric and it's got like a nice sheen to it, a nice texture. Wow, that is a flattering face to stop on. <laughs> okay guys, forget about this skirt. Basically, I made his costume round one with this skirt and I just hated how it turned out. And so I actually went back to the thrift store and bought an entirely different piece of clothing to start all over from scratch. Obviously he's not this big at all, so I'm gonna use like half of this probably. My plan is to make essentially like a pillowcase, a rectangle, square, shape, whatever, um, with hand holes towards the top, a head hole in the middle, and then feet holes on the bottom. To do like all the decor pattern on it, I just got more felt. So I picked up several different colors. I will just cut out shapes, lay them out on there, and just do like a quick top stitch on all of those to get the pattern. Ah, uh, here is the second fabric. This is for round two. <laughs> I picked up this um, little girl's dress in a deep blue velvet fabric, which I actually liked a whole lot more than the original skirt that I grabbed. So in the end, it worked out lots better. So um, I just deconstructed that, got some pieces of fabric to play with. Um, I used like a 
pair of pajamas of my babies to kind of measure out the shape. Again, I wanted it to be kind of a rectangle that went from his feet up to his neck, out to his wrists. I had to piece together a few pieces to get this. So like I had to have two pieces in the front, as you can see, um, but I just sewed those together, made it a nice rectangle, and then I started placing these felt shapes that I had cut out on top, pinning them down, and then going to the machine and top stitching those down. This was one of my critical errors in the first round. I decided to take a shortcut and use hot glue instead of top stitching. And let me tell you, that was a terrible decision. Hot glue guns are not always the answer, people. Learn from my mistake. In case anyone was wondering, this is what it looks like when you've been working on Halloween costumes in the basement all week. Okay, once I had all the detail top stitched onto the front of the fabric, I went ahead and put my front and back together. This is the back. Obviously, you can see I had to patchwork a few pieces together to get the right shape and size. But I am sewing up the sides and I was leaving um, like three inch openings at the top on each side for his hands. Um, and now I am pinning the top and I'm leaving about six inches in the middle for his head opening. And I also have a slit in the back um, so that it can go over those giant baby noggins. Then I was just finishing the edges and here I decided to add some Velcro at the back to close that up. And I didn't get video of this, but I also added Velcro along the bottom. I did not sew up the bottom, I did Velcro instead so that you could put it on the baby, um, but I could still seal off the bottom except for where his feet are coming out, if that makes sense. Another error I made in my round one costume was I added a trim around the sides instead of doing the iconic tassels at the corners. What was I thinking? The tassels are just so much cuter and so much more personality, I guess, with the magic carpet. So anyways, I, a second round, learned from my mistake, went ahead and made tassels for the four corners. If you need to learn how to do this, there's tons of tutorials on YouTube you can look up. Hopefully this all comes together and people can actually tell what we are. I hate on Halloween when you go out and people are like looking you up and down like, what are you? So hopefully that won't happen. Ah, yes, hopefully. Okay, I forgot to do an outro. So without further ado, here are my refashioned, thrift flipped Halloween costumes. Enjoy. Thank you. Did you just 